Hello YouTube, my name is Tyler and this is my October wrap up. If you are new to my channel, uh, I vlog every week. So my detailed thoughts, my more lengthy reviews of the books uh, are in those vlogs. So I will just be reading the titles and the ratings. Uh, so let's do that and then I can get into some other stats and figures and updates. I read 18 books this month, which is two more than last month and is the same amount that I read in August. Um, I've been keeping on pace with four books a week. The last week of October vlog is obviously not up yet. That will be next week. Uh, in that one, you have six books to look forward to because uh, it's a week and some change. So I got some extra books in there. So uh, let's talk about the books that I read. I read White is for Witching by Helen Oyeyeme, which I gave three stars. Uh, Silk Hills by Ryan Ferrier, and there was a few different illustrators, which I didn't write down. Um, four stars, The Glass Castle by Jeanette Walls. This was a autobiography uh, memoir type book, two stars. Cryptid C Club by Sarah Anderson, three stars. Sour Candy by Keelan Patrick Burke, three stars. Pilgrim's Wilderness, A True Story of Faith and Madness on the Alaska Frontier by Tom Kizia, three stars. There was a lot of um, harder names to pronounce this month um, and I should have uh, checked how to pronounce these names before starting recording. So I apologize if I end up messing up people's names. Uh, the Ones Who Walk Away from Omelas by Ursula K. Le Guin, four stars. Lost Children Archive by Valera Lucelli, four stars. Catherine House by Elizabeth Thomas, four stars. The Weight of Blood by Tiffany D. Jackson, two stars. How Fascism Works, The Politics of Us and Them, four stars. Uh, that was by Jason Stanley. The Lolo Woods by Carmen Maria Machado and Danny, four stars. On Fragile Waves, four stars by E. Lily Yu. Nothing But Black and Teeth by Cassandra Kaw, three stars. Um, Dreaming of You by Melissa Lozada Oliva, four stars. When the Reckoning Comes by Latanya McQueen, four stars. Peluda by Melissa Lozada Olivia. Olive, four stars, and Rock Collector by Becca Tobin, four stars. So that's quite a bit of reading I have done. Let's talk about stats. I already mentioned that I had read 18 books this month. Um, I DNF'd two books. I DNF'd The Anomaly and I DNF'd Tampa. Um, just was not feeling either of those books. Um, so I dropped them. Uh, on average, it took me four days on the nose to read a book this month. Um, when I did the math and it came out in a solid number, I could not believe it because that never happens. Um, which makes sense. There were a couple of books that I read within a day. So let's see. I read The Ones Who Walk Away from Omelas in a day because that was like a 20 minute audiobook. I read Nothing But Black and Teeth also was a really short three hour audiobook that I listened to in a day. And then Rock Collector was a pretty short uh, comic. It was like 32 pages that I read in a day. Um, so yeah, uh, quite a few one day reads and then some longer ones. White is for Witching took eight days. Um, Lost Children Archive took nine days. And When the Reckoning Comes also took eight days. So some longer ones and some shorter ones. Um, my average star rating w for this month was 3.2, which surprised me because that actually puts it on one of the lower rating months for me. Usually anything under like three and a half is like a bad reading month, but I didn't really feel that way about my reading. Um, I didn't really get the spooky books that I was wanting this month. So I think part of that kind of contributed to just like a lot of three stars. Um, and I'm not sure I got a five star read this month. So that probably also contributed to a 
lower rating overall this month. However, I read a lot of four stars that were like really strong four stars where it was an enjoyable four star where I was having fun four stars where it was a four star not because it did something that irritated me that kept me from giving it five stars but just because it was four stars and it was a four star read and there was like no reason in particular it was four stars that just just was what it was um and uh you know that was enjoyable for me um something that like even though i didn't get the mm, compulsive read I was hoping for or the like really spooky scary read I was hoping for um I really enjoyed the four star reads that I read so um let's look my least favorite read interesting so I have two two star reads The Glass Castle by Jeanette Walls and The Weight of Blood by Tiffany D. Jackson um so I gave The Weight of Blood three stars on Goodread just because so the way I didn't enjoy it was because it was YA, which I knew picking up and was like my fault for reading. Um, whereas The Glass Castle just kind of bored me. Um, so I think that one's probably my least favorite. Um, and then, like I said, a whole bunch of four star reads. I don't even know how I would pick my favorite one. Some of these four stars were three and a half stars rounded up. And some were just like good four star reads. Um, I, I genuinely do not know how to pick. So like Lost Children Archive, that was one of the weirder things I've read um, just because it had such a unique perspective and format, um, but not weird in like a horror aspect. It wasn't a horror book in any capacity. It was about immigration. I really enjoyed that. I'm really glad I read it. Um, really liked Catherine House a lot. That was a very weird book um the lola woods by carmen maria machado really liked that one <laughs> on fragile waves again another like uh, immigrant migration story liked that quite a bit dreaming of you that was a book in verse about selena and she was being resurrected which is a wild thing um that was so weird enjoyed that <laughs> um when the Reckoning Comes wasn't quite as scary as I was hoping, but had a good time reading that. Five of the six books I read in this last week were four stars. So like those ones I feel like I really enjoyed in this last week. So maybe contribute to overall this week, this month feeling like a good reading month. Um, and then Rock Collector and Peluda, um, both of those I gave four stars too. So like, I don't know how to pick my favorite one. Um, maybe dreaming of you because that one really took me by surprise i wasn't sure if i was gonna like it it's in verse i'm not a big poetry reader um and so maybe that one was my favorite i liked it so much that i picked up her poetry book um, which i didn't like as much but uh the last poem really did something for me so that's something um so <laughs> there was like a lot of things i liked uh this month even if nothing quite hit the five star mark for me uh so yes let's do a little bit of a tbr update um my physical tbr shelf went from 16 books last month to 18 books this month um but i actually read quite a bit of stuff off my physical tbr the weight of blood i owned um there were some other ones, Nothing But Black and Teeth, even though I listened to the audiobook from the library, I owned the book. Um, when the Reckoning Comes also was on my physical TBR. Um, so it it went down, I was reading stuff on my physical TBR. However, I did go to the Friends of the Library sale and bought some things. I also went to a thrift store, and, not a thrift store, a yard sale, and I picked up uh, Between a Rock and a Hard Place because it was only a dollar. Uh, this has been on my TBR for ages. Uh, but none of my libraries have an e-copy, which is an older book, so maybe there isn't a digital version version of it. Um, this has been on, honestly, my TBR probably since when I was reading all of, um, I just completely lost his name, uh, Into Thin Air, John Krakauer. Um, when I was reading all his books, I got really interested in survival 
lost in the wilderness, trapped in the wilderness stories, which is kind of what that is about. Um, so I have seen the movie. I have been wanting to read the book. We'll finally read the book at some point. Anyways, so the physical shelf went from 16 to 18, but I am reading off of it, which is good. Um, my Goodreads TBR went from 123 to 114. Also great. I am reading stuff that is on my TBR. Um, I'm getting stuff from the library. And when I do, it's almost all exclusively stuff that has been on my TBR, except for this last library chip where I bought, bought, I borrowed three books and none <laughs> were on my TBR, but that's a different story for a different day. Um, so that's the main stats, uh, what I usually cover in this video. Surprisingly, have chatted quite a bit, probably because there was just a lot of weird and different books that I read that hit some kind of spot for me. Um, so yes, there's that. I am also doing book Shervert bingo this month and through the end of the year. And I hit three bingos in the month of October. I hit them all in the last week of October, so they will be in next week's vlog. Um, however, I did just want to show you my little updated book Shervert bingo board. Um, if you watch my vlogs, I was using different stickers, but they blocked too much of the prompt. So I spent some time today redoing the stickers so I could see the prompt better and the book that I used to satisfy the prompt. Um, I have two Omos bingos. I'm working on a gifted and thrifted book right now. Um, and that's not my name, which is supposed to be for a pen name or someone who is writing under a different name for whatever reason. Um, so those are the two bingos that are closest. Uh, I plan on using different color stickers for the month of November um, and will allow myself to reuse some of the topics that I have already used just because that's how I feel like playing. Um, but I, if I get this, that will still count as a bingo. Um, so that's my book revert bingo update. I'm pretty pleased that I finally actually hit some bingos even if <laughs> all three of them were in one week. I think that's really all I have to say about my reading this month. Um, if you've been watching my videos, I appreciate it. Um, I hope to read some good things next month. Um, I did <laughs> I did plan on reading Frankenstein this month and I did not get to it uh, because I completely forgot that I wanted to read Frankenstein this month until last night. Um, so maybe I'll read that in November, unsure. Um, I definitely will be rereading The Basic Eight this month. Um, I may or may not do a vlog with that. I have read The Basic Eight many times. I have a lot of feelings about The Basic Eight, um, but I'm not really sure if that would make for an interesting vlog or not, if I would actually have interesting things to say to camera. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but I do plan on reading The Basic Eight sometime in the month of November. Um, and it's been a really long time since I've reread something. And in my previous vlogs, I was talking about how I definitely was feeling the need to reread stuff. So um, just because I read a lot of just like, okay stuff kind of in the beginning of October um, and the end of September, I was just reading like a lot of three stars and I was feeling kind of um, underwhelmed with my reading. And so I was talking about a lot about, I really feel the need to reread something. Um, and I managed to hold off until November when I was already planning on rereading something. And it's one of my favorite books. So hopefully that will really jumpstart some good reading for me, even though I think the month ended out on a strong note. So um, yeah, that's really all I have to say. I will see y'all next week with the last week of October vlog. And then you'll be seeing stuff that I'm reading in November. All right. Bye-bye.